What's up, gamers? How you doing? I was recently at an event, retro gaming event, called QuartzCon. This is in Columbus, Ohio. Big Red Sports Complex. This is the first year it's been held at this particular center. It's grown every year. This is actually the third time I've been to this event, although the past two years hasn't happened with COVID, obviously. Uh, really coming about, good to come back to these gaming events. And I wanted to do a quick video, show you what was here in the vendor hall. I'll do a follow-up video and show you what I picked up and got. I got some really cool items, including a really cool, unique console that I think was really cool. I want to show you guys. A lot of really cool people. I talked to a ton of people. I was a guest, honored to be a guest here at this event. I had my own panel uh, with some other great guests. It was great. Uh, really, really fun time. Uh, day just flew by. It's a single day event, but just flew by. I didn't notice anything crazy about like price wise. I know retro gaming has video games have gone up in value given COVID. I didn't see anything crazy. One tip I would give when you go to events like these are try to bundle games together. If you if there's a couple games you like, try to offer a bundle package, negotiate price. Don't lowball them, certainly, but you can negotiate. And, and most vendors are willing to, to hear you on that. There's a cool Genesis with uh, various attachments. And I love this Zelda backpack coming up here. That's super awesome. Here is Old School Gamer Magazine, which is a great old school gaming magazine. And there's RK, they were promoting that. What's really cool, my Game City Hunter and the Chris Mine is actually on that. And you can, if you look carefully on the banner, you'll see our logo there on the left. Here's Video Game Monthly. Shout out to Joe. First time I met the guy. Really cool service. They mail out video games to you monthly in a box that you subscribe to. Hung out with him afterwards. Awesome times. Good Deal Games. This is a really cool vendor. They have magazines, of course, but they have a lot of homebrew games. And I mean, you can find some really cool unique games that you really can't find typically. Jaguar games that were unpublished. Prototype games. Uh, they had an exclusive Atari 2600 games that was just for the show. And that's what I love about Korg's is when we talk about retro gaming, we're talking about old school, like going back to the Atari 2600 and stuff like that. So a lot of ColecoVision games, a lot of Intellivision games. There is Leonard Herman, awesome dude. He is an author. There is my good friend, Brett. Brett Weiss, what's up, man? Shout out to him. He was selling his books and great books, by the way. I'll put a link to his channel and his website below. Definitely check him out, show support. I had my, my panel was with both those guys. Uh, Settlers of Catan, I love that, that board game. Ton of Xboxes. Now, Xbox, I have a hard time thinking of that as old school retro gaming, but I guess technically it is, considering it's going on, what, 20 years or so? It's crazy. Awesome here. This is a really cool guide here for Jaws and Fester's Quest. I did a video Friday 13th guidebook. Those guys were super cool. Very awesome guide. I'll put a link as well to their information. Check them out. They were cool. They hooked me up with some other strategy guys. A big shout out to them. I very much appreciate that. Uh, here's some old school Adam, ColecoVision Adam computer there and various old school dot matrix printers and good stuff. A few arcade cabinets. Um, they had Pac-Man Galaga, a couple other, there were four of them. Check out this huge ski ball. And they were playing this with bowling balls, which is crazy. I think they're charging about a dollar to play, but super cool. Here's a panel room and they had some great guests. David Crane, they had Warren Davis, who is the creator of Qbert, which by the way, Qbert outside of Pac-Man was highly merchandised back in the 80s, huge popular. So really cool to meet those guys. Uh, this is really cool. This guy hooked it up, uh, punch out, but you can see here he's like using it to punch and he wired it, which is crazy. So it was awesome, very interactive, very ingenious. And then he has this universal translator. So this was like in in uh, Chinese or Taiwanese or whatever it is, uh, Mandarin, and it was translating it into English real time through the program. I thought that was really cool. Ton of PlayStation 1 games, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3. Uh, here's a couple games. Look at those customized Game Boy games, awesome, or Game Boys, and you know Game Boy Advances. The, the Game Gear was cool. I did get a custom Game Gear, uh, which I'll show up in the follow video. Look at that, the Super Mario 64. That's a million dollar game right there. Now nah, I'm just joking. It's crazy that uh, some of these games go for that price, but nothing else selling like that here. Now nah, people were really uh, reasonable in prices. Sega Master System games, uh, a lot of Jaguar games, Jag CD games, which is crazy. You don't see those in a while uh, very often. They had a, a Jag CD box system, which is awesome. I have one of those, but those are pretty rare to find. I think it was going for a thousand. Check out those black box NES games, a ton of box NES games. And they had a handful of box Game Boy games, which again, you don't find those very often because people just open them there. Slightly, I kind of skin by it, but you can kind of see it there. Uh, but really cool. They got the X-Band uh, Super Nintendo I spotted there. Are there any games in this video that you spot that are really cool? Check out that Mortal Kombat fight stick. And uh, here's some developers, which is really cool. Bins and bins of old school magazines. I picked up a few uh, Retro Gaming Monthlies, 
uh, a ton of you know game pros things like that nintendo powers i love picking those things up because it just goes it takes me back in time which which is awesome so uh, there's a been a super nintendo here's a handful of nintendo games and playstation 2 games all that good stuff uh and you can find some really good games hidden games here for sure turbografx 16 box that box looks like the zach morris from city by bell there's brian real quick video but he is a creator of like rampage and games like that uh which is awesome and really cool he's come out to my show as well super nice guy i was i was sitting next to him super awesome dude thank you for watching guys i appreciate you guys subscribing let me know if you guys see any games spot any games i'll have a follow-up video shortly with what i picked up here you won't want to miss that thank you for subscribing guys we'll see you guys soon take care and of course game on